Roma ragazzi bella Roma facci vedere l'appartamento sì beautiful apartment I'm very excited because it's very rustic gives you that charming character you know that we all love look where we are The Pantheon! God, the bello! Doesn't Rome just have an electric energy in my day? Yeah. Now we go grocery for the breakfast. In Rome, you can find a lot of fountains where you can refill your water bottle. One, it is here, next to the Colosseum, and then it's for free. So you don't need to pay $4 or $3 for half a liter of the water. Come here, it's really good. So, look at this. <clears throat> so this is another way. Like I said, maybe here some some dogs gonna eat, drink. Ready? <gasps> oh my gosh! What the heck just happened? That is what you need to do. And now you're gonna get diarrhea. Tomorrow. Then you drink from up there. That's a swell trick, Amore. Boring or wrong? I want to try it, but I'm scared. Try. Let me hear your phone. Oh, you need to adjust. Yeah. <laughs> Born in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's good water. Yeah. Can I use your shirt? No. So the beauty of Rome, what is the beauty of Rome? I'm in love with Rome again. The beauty is anywhere you go, any road that you turn onto or a little corner that you take, you'll find something beautiful. I mean, sunsets, magical yeah. views, ruins. You need to just uh, start exploring and go Go out. on the side streets, side through streets. the little alleyways, get off the main Road, road to the Colosseum. Yeah, here we have important guy. That was important guy because we have Carabinieri here. Up. Ciao. I don't know, but we are in the Viminale, so the first car probably was some politician. Yeah. 
This was the first hotel we stayed in the first time we came to Rome, Hotel Iberia. Great breakfast, great room. We got a beautiful view and really nice stuff. Yes. Very recommended by us. And you're really central too. You can walk to everything really easily. This is perfect for me and you, Amore. Yeah. I'm going to be driving and you're in the little car. I can't wait. <laughs> so, Fontana di Trento. You want to see how packed it is? Huh? Destra su sinistra, se no non ritorni in Italia. Sì, sì. Only like this. Yeah, it. You got it. Yep. Jesse started to be emotional. I'm emotional because I was thinking about all the people standing here and just thinking like what the story brought them to Italy. Maybe it's their first time, maybe they're on honeymoon, maybe it's a family vacation, or maybe they're retired and they've dreamed to go to Italy their whole lives. And I just hope everybody's having a good time. Yes. I just hope they're all having a good time. Yeah, they are. They are celebrating here. And they're enjoying it. Yes. I feel like I'm happy in Rome. So, <laughs> so, Jesse can bring luck for everybody. We were just walking by it, and somebody just broke up. She was, she was crying. crying. It was awful. Ugh. Good, Amore. You just said. Uh, Why would he break up with her on the street in front of everybody? Who her? She was crying. She was so sad. Uh, hope... Thank you for your uh, <laughs> happiness for I the world. I was gonna say, I hope I wish her a beautiful, magical life. She's gonna find a, a better one. Yeah. Siamo arrivati a casa. Ce la fai? Go, go. Vai. Guarda, guarda queste scale. Andare. Stupendo, eh? Stupendo. Poi oh, ne abbiamo fatte di scale, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you have a lot of faith that I can film and climb the stairs at the same time. Allora. I hope everybody's learning Italian watching your videos because Alessio parla solo in italiano adesso. Prego signorina. Grazie Be mille. Be Grazie. Ehi, quando va? Merci se beaucoup, beaucoup. Monsieur. Monsieur. Andale. Eccola! Guarda i genti mangiano. This is Rome. You go around for the uh, little streets, enjoy, this is beautiful. beautiful evening, a passeggiata. Oh my gosh, passeggiata in Rome, come you eat, amore. Yeah. It's the most magical thing I've ever had in my life. You eat I your carbonara and the, mm, <laughs> and the night is perfect. <laughs> Un'altra giornata di Roma con la pioggia. Con la pioggia e la freddezza. È freddo. Freddezza. Freddezza, ok, that is nice. No? No. <laughs> What is the cold? È, è, è freddo. Oh, freddezza is better. Better, same. But even if uh, rain, don't be upset. Yeah. Rome is beautiful anyway. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged, yeah. Di ogni giorno, questi scalini.
Okay. Don't worry about rain in Italy on your trip because even though it's raining, wait five minutes, the sun will come out. Yeah. <laughs> because you go to the hell, you see? <laughs> this is the hell. <laughs> There's one every second. They're all the same. Crispy yeah. McBacon, crispy McBacon. This is the <laughs> crispy <laughs> McBacon. Italian hell. Crispy McBacon. You go down. <laughs> crispy McBacon, crispy McBacon. Yeah. You have to crispy see McBacon. it. <laughs> crispy McBacon. <laughs> Until you go down. <laughs> Look how much people is there. Victoria Manuela, right? Yeah, Victoria Manuela. We go back to heaven. Like this. Wow. This is incredible. This is what we tried growing in our house. It was doing so well until it froze and then it died and it was so sad. to be where Julius Caesar was assassinated. But now it's been turned into a cat sanctuary in Rome. And I believe over 350 cats are registered here in this little area. So you can come here and look for the cats. Me is here. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Oh, there's another one in there too. Where? Oh. Oh, it's there. Yeah. under here too. I'm in love with the cats. Yeah, they're nice. I'm looking like a tourist, like a Kinder Bueno. Yeah. No, you look more like a local at this point. Yeah. Minus your wonky umbrella. <laughs> Ready to walk around fashionable for Rome. Andiamo. Yeah. So we're in Palazzo Spada and we're gonna go see Baramini's Perspectivo, perspective where you look down this little galley and it looks like it's it goes on forever because of the way that he designed it, but it's actually only eight meters deep. 
So let's go look. First, one, you walk into this beautiful courtyard. Yeah, one meter is is three feet. So it's like eight yards. Eight yards. But yeah. it looks like it's over thirty yards far yeah. away. So let's go check it out. So this is the entrance. Here, you can see without pay the ticket. For free. So it's five dollars to go into the palace and the <laughs> museum, and you get to see it right there. But for free, you can look through this library and still see it and appreciate the architecture. Yeah, I mean, from video probably it's not this, uh, the great see. image, but yeah. But the way he designed it, he carved everything smaller and smaller and smaller. So it looks like it, it looks out really, meters. really far, but it's actually only eight meters so that, deep. So it's like, see this plant over exactly. there. Yeah, instead looks like, it's really amazing. Really, really amazing. And what did you get here, Mare? I get um, Torno, Rata, Olive, and Parsemo. I see a lot of people in our comments say, oh, I went to Italy, the food was terrible, whatever. Just because you're in Italy doesn't mean you're going to eat good food. Because just like anywhere else, you can find people who make subpar food for tourists because they don't care about the quality and then they'll cook something better for their families exactly. with the good ingredients. You have to find the good places just like anywhere else. Just because you're in Italy doesn't mean every single restaurant is good. Exactly. That's why the Pazinis are here. Try to knock off all the places that people try say see, try to see. and try to give you in the good areas. Okay, this is the the way the truth. Where is it? How you call it? In the mouth of truth. If you put your hand in and you tell a lie, it's gonna bite your hand off. It's gonna cut your hand. So don't lie. If you lie. So don't lie. You don't lie. Are you Italian or are you French? 100% Italian. Ah! Okay, do we now? Where We're are we going? going up Aventine Hill. Yes. And since the Roman Empire, this hill was dedicated to flowers and gardens and all things beautiful. The emperors kind of dedicated this hill to that. Even the goddess Flora had a celebration every spring in the Circus Maximus here with all the flowers and things. So. We're going up to see the rose garden. It's supposed to be beautiful in the spring and early summer. Supposedly there's over a thousand varieties here and many of them are gifts from other countries. That's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's very, like you feel spring. Oh, 
Can you see me? Yes. Impossible. I'm like a, a guy code. What's this one called? City of Germania. Germania. What I would like to have in your ass is that diabetes. I love when we find statues of you. So this is the most beautiful view in the sun. Sunset too. For sunset. Everybody come here to watch it. Nice food, the people, but that is it. So, over there is the whole key, so you can see the yeah, Vatican. The garden view of the Basilica Dome. Yeah, it's a big line. Yeah. Start from here. When we came five years ago, maybe there were five people <laughs> over here. Yeah, now it's start to be popular. <laughs> now it's less like hidden and it's more known. No. Which is fine because it's worth seeing. Yes. I'm glad more people know about it because it's really beautiful. That is, but just be prepared that there's a line now. A slow line. You know why? Because people take pictures, but you cannot take pictures because when you try to take the picture, it's not, the it's not light focusing. It doesn't work with your phone camera and it won't um, take the, the cap, it won't capture it. Yes. And so they stay trying to get try, in. And there's nobody try. here to try and help move people along. I really think that they should put somebody here. I'll just say, don't take pictures because it's no make. You can stay there, there. You cannot make. So we don't do it because we did so many times. But uh, if but you want if to you try, want to, it's beautiful. It's be no, you have to see it, in my opinion. But uh, now, just know that there'll be a long line. A long line. Come early. You see, I clean jeans, you can clean everything. I wanna teach you how to do uh, laundry in Italy. So, because it's different. So here you can see cotton, t-shirts, uh, jeans, what they did, you're just turning, and then usually come already, um, example, I put cotton, okay, what I assume can most of the people have it, and already come 59 minutes and then it's gonna be 40 gradi maybe you cannot see it but it's 40 and then here is 800 the centrifuga how is you say centrifuga the spinning speed when for drying okay so i suggest spin yes the spin it it is 800 here so i suggest don't do 40 so you click the temperature here this is the temperature and you go 30 you see 
okay maybe some okay 30 like that and spin you go here okay, this is how fast go you go a thousand you can go a thousand i go always 30 because you never know with clothes go a little bit low is much better okay, then have strinkle when they come out and then you just push start it is in english and then that's it okay but i close it so usually they are different this one you put your um, soap here a little bit of soap and then this you open up this is in rome i never see something like that but you put your clothes and then you close it and that's it if you don't find it you need to just try to find this thing and the clothes come out wet so sometimes you have uh, stuff like that or you can hanging the clothes let me close this you can hanging the clothes with stuff and you leave it there we're gonna take two days for um, it's gonna take like two days for dry at least two days um, three is best so I say two sometimes it's risky depend how warm it is in case just use a phone okay you call blow hair okay. hair dryer get this this you're gonna be or if you have this amazing the tile make he the tile you can put some clothes if you have really necessity to do it really bad and yeah so whoop. this is a tip how to do um laundry okay a lot of people maybe uh if you go florence if you go rome and you have a lot of stairs and you want to take you stay two weeks you want to take a week a week you know so you strategically you can do uh laundry before with maybe you bring seven um seven days when you have number five you do your laundry you have the two extra and then you do that could be so you have less heaviness with suitcases everything that's it i hope this helped you so Mar, how do you feel sleeping uh in places close to the sides like the oh, But we need to say, could be a little bit noises for yeah. the people. And Saturday and Sunday. I was gonna say Saturday night was rough. <laughs> Saturday <laughs> Sunday, people are gonna be so loud outside because they're yelling in the piazza. Ah. Ah. At yeah. three o'clock in the morning. It's beautiful view. You have enjoyed to watch it, but Saturday, Sun uh, no, sorry, Friday is Saturday. You can struggle with uh, noises so you need to maybe buy a uh, hear plugs so so hear oh yeah earplugs yeah. earplugs for for that day everything else oh. midnight they start to be quiet like or even and actually in the morning it's kind of nice to like start to hear the city wake up and you wake up with them it's kinda yeah nice, actually yeah it's nine and the pantheon is start open and the, the line is keep coming guys, it's unbelievable. Look beautiful here. So you put black. I told you. I was black. I, was, I told you. I was so, wearing this yesterday. Black, black, we look funeral from Rome. I told you I was wearing this yesterday. Okay, then the I change, I change. You copied me. No, I wear. <laughs> Tip number one. When you walk, never have your purse towards the road, but always towards the, the other side. The other side. If they're riding by fast, they can reach out and grab your purse and they'll take off before you can even do anything. Yes. Everybody knows about the Sistine Chapel when you come to Rome. But did you know that there is another beautiful church ceiling that you can see? No. Let's go inside San Ignatius de Loyola Church. 
and let's see the beautiful ceiling that's painted like a perspective like it could go on and on and on up into heaven. Adesso siamo alla galleria Schiarra, no? Schiarra. Schiarra. <laughs> Another hidden gem that not a lot of people see. It's beautiful architecture and it's right here. So all the paintings on the walls actually celebrate women and their power and their abilities and all their great qualities. Molto bello qui, eh? Sì. My amore photographer, no. like always. <laughs> How many pictures will we take in this trip? So many. <laughs> so most people stop here, but the best it is over there. There are some few people. Maybe they are afraid. We are not afraid. <laughs> Il posto che solo noi sappiamo. So now we're gonna go to the most romantic street in Rome. Yes. And then after that, we're gonna take the metro all the way to the other side of the Vatican, behind the Basilica. Behind this, yes. But first, Via Margita. Siamo qui, Via Margutta. This is supposed to be the most romantic street in Rome, and in the 50s, he agrees, yes? Yeah. <laughs> Ciao tutti! <laughs> Ciao. Ciao! And um, in the 1950s and 60s, it actually became a hot spot for movie stars and ritzy people to come and move and live in Rome. So let's take a walk. Take a walk. Facciamo un passeggiata.
So now we take the metro. Yes. One thing you need to know if you have a backpack, always on the front. Because here in Rome, usually they take you from your back. It's every city. How you get tickets for train tickets? So you go here to push this button. If you want a single ticket. Yeah, and then you add. It's not touch screen, so you add. And then when it's like this, you pay. Okay, I got it. The place is closed. We came here without checking if it was open <laughs> or whatever. So remember, always look the timing. You think it's Monday, I think it's open, but no, because maybe they was open yesterday. A classic tip. We need to always check, remember ourselves. Even we mess up. <laughs> It's a big line too. Huh? Wow. So for there. Of course, this is free to go this in. This is free. So everybody wants to go in. Of course, you have to see inside if it's your first time. By the Rome. line it is. But it is quite a line. Quite a line. This so, is ours. I think it's I, ours. Yeah. I still think it's worth it if you've never seen it before. I've seen it, so there's no way I'm going to see Two times. It. Yeah, I mean, Easy. there's no way I'm standing in this line. But if you've never seen it, your first time in Rome, and this is what you're faced with, stand in the line and do it, guys. It's worth it to see in there. But if you don't like this line, maybe check and see when your travel time is. <laughs> yeah, because us, <laughs> we like if, to I, travel. If, I, if I don't remember, we did the line down there, right? Where is oh, we that? started probably... Uh, Where is the security? Yeah. So over there. In front of this white tent. Yeah, and then, and then it was that pack, the people, it was less people. Yeah, there were less lines, less people. That's why when we want to do tourist sites, Simone, we, do we in, always go in the winter. winter. You're cold, yes, you have to wear a coat, yes, but you can do multiple things in one day because you don't have to stand in all these blocks. And you can stay three days because yeah. we knock off Rome in three days. But with lines like this, it's like your whole day is dedicated to one thing. Yeah. So you give and take. You're either warm and comfortable standing outside but you have a long line to wait in or you bring a coat it's a little cold outside but you can go straight in yeah sometimes Rome where the first time we arrived it was like spring we got lucky in, uh, it was in it was, uh, uh, February but it was spring like. yeah the temperature was amazing so we got super lucky yeah so Rome is not always cold 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 so but if you're planning your trip just know if you come during the warm season you're gonna have long lines yeah Allora oggi mangiamo a casa, non c'è luce, siamo andati alla coppa, adesso il mio amore viene qua a mangiarsi le fonzis, le fonzis sono come Cheetos, giusto? Giusto, ma con giusto gusto, <ride> con gusto parmigiano non c'è. Ah ok, non sapevo, ah, eh, sono buone eh? Ok. La focaccia, dai un bel morso. Vuoi un coltello? No. Scura? I'm so hungry. Did you say this is a tip if you have an Airbnb? Or even a hotel, maybe. You can buy food at the grocery store. Yes, yes, making us our sandwiches from the grocery store. A little tomato and mozzarella buffalo. Sì. And over here we've been snacking focaccia and fonzies. <laughs>
Roma non far la stupida stasera Grazie. Grazie.